So the second dimension of indicators is fidelity. So what do we mean by that? If we look at this Venn diagram, we have loads of indicators. I think we have millions of indicators in our systems. Very few of those are suitable for active detections today. We have the set of all possible indicators. We have a much smaller set of indicators that are probably still live and still relevant, but they're not appropriate for detections because they're low fidelity. And then we have a very, very small subset of indicators that we might apply to Tejas on a day-by-day -day basis. We heavily triage those indicators to make sure that they're appropriate for detection and we also age those out very quickly. So when we think those indicators are no longer valid, we will remove those from detection so that we're not creating false positives. What makes an indicator low fidelity? So things like compromised infrastructure. If you have a legitimate website that has been compromised, you might see 90% of that traffic is legitimate. It's just somebody browsing to the website, but 10% of the traffic might be bad. Now, there's a balance there between false positives and true positives. So there's a decision to be made as to whether we should apply it to detection and create noise or whether we don't apply that to detections but use that for context and enrichment. It might be a legitimate thing so some malware might do call outs to google.com for example to verify that it has internet connectivity. That's not a good indicator for us to use for detections. It might be shared hosting so an IP address if it's hosting a hundred domain names we may have seen bad traffic to one of those domain names but the chances are that traffic to that IP address could be to 99 of the hundred domain names and therefore not bad. Or it could just be noisy existing traffic if it's an indicator indicator that's been around for a long time. We often see them published in blogs, we see researchers communicating with them, and it may not be a good indicator to use for that. What we do is we apply all of our indicators through a triage engine so that we're triaging them against passive DNS to look for shared hosting, against all of our customer traffic so we can only promote indicators that have very low noise, so we're not going to raise indicators that hundreds of customers are talking to, because that's probably not a good indicator of compromise. But as I said, low fidelity indicators can still be useful to add context and extra data points to an investigation once you've already detected something.